Okay, so I want to talk to you about resistance here. Um, you worked with resistance a little bit last year, enough to know that it's measured in ohms. And so um, let's take a look at resistance. Um, you know how um, resistivity is resistivity is the electric field per current density. And um, electric field is the voltage divided by the distance for only for uniform fields. But in our wire, um, there is going to be a uniform field. At least we're going to say there's a uniform field. So here's our wire. And um, let's have the field be this way. A uniform field that way and that's why the electrons are heading the electrons head against the field and um, the if the field if the electric field is this way and this distance we're going to call D we'll call that an uppercase D I suppose then the voltage between here between A and B the voltage between those two points the voltage um, between A and B is going to just be ED. Okay. Um, which potential is at higher? Which of these is at higher potential? Well, let's go against the field. And so this would be the higher potential because this is the electric field. So to push um, a positive charge against the field, that, that's how you raise potential. Okay. So, uh, the, but the potential is going to be ED. So let's head on, head on back to here. Okay, so since this is electric field and that's electric field, let's um, let's set um, rho j equal to um, v over d. Um, and you know what? I'm going to call this L. You'll see why. L is just the length. So it's V over L, the length. And so, um, but I, uh, J is I over A. Okay. And so um, let me get, let me bring the L over here. And so if I bring the L over here, it's going to be rho L over A times I is equal to V. Now, do you remember last year there was a law called Ohm's Law that said that the voltage across a resistor was equal to the current through the resistor times the resistance of the resistor? Well, the voltage is equal to I times R. So here's the deal, is this is R. That expression, rho L over A, is R. So the resistance of a metal depends on the following things. The resistance of a metal depends on what it's made out of, definitely. And if you're, um, it also depends on how long the wire is. The longer the wire is, the more, um, the more resistance it's going to give to the flow of current. So um, that's going to give you, if you have a really, really long wire, you're just going to add a lot more resistance to your current. And then A is the cross-sectional area of the wire. So if you if you want to have a, a lot of resistance, then you make your cross section really, really tiny and you'll get a, a very big resistance. And so um, that's the, the formula for resistance. Now you might say, hey, I know also resistance depends on temperature. How come temperature is not in there? But the temperature is related to the resistivity. So the resistivity is a function of temperature. Um, it turns out that in you, it's usually the case that the colder something is, the um, less resistivity it has. Okay, we'll talk a little bit more about that later.
But yeah, if, if you're wondering where temperature is, it's it's in there. But we're going to assume in this unit that the row doesn't change with temperature. We're just going to deal with things at, at, at room temperature. Okay, um, so that is the equation for resistance. And as I said, um, I gave you Ohm's Law, but let's just define Ohm's Law right now. Ohm's Law is obeyed for um, a lot of resistors. In fact, we call resistors where Ohm's Law is obeyed, that obey Ohm's Law, we call those resistors ohmic resistors. Okay, an ohmic resistor is one that obeys, obeys, sorry, Ohm's Law. Just like all springs don't obey Hooke's Law, not all resistors obey Ohm's Law. But here's the thing. Um, let's put some subscripts on the, the voltage, the I, and the R, because that's, that, that, those subscripts are kind of important. So um, it goes like this. If you would like to know the current through a resistor, I is the current through a resistor. Current flows through resistors. That will equal the voltage drop across the resistor. Voltage doesn't flow through a circuit. It is dropped across different elements in a circuit. So the voltage across um, the resistor divided by the resistance of the resistor. And it's, that's just the resistance of that resistor. Okay, so that is, that is called, this is called Ohm's Law. All right, I'm going to cut this video short. We'll call it a, a night. Thanks. Bye.